Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to be looking at radioactive decay. And now the standard for this says that we're going to compare the types of radioactive decay in terms of the particles and the energy that the radioactive decay generates. Now, what this basically means, and what I'm going to be expecting from you, is I want you to be able to differentiate between the various forms of radioactive decay given the particles and or the energy that is released during the process. So the first thing that we need to understand is what radioactive decay really is. So we have a definition, and we're going to go through it and break it down piece by piece. So radioactive decay is a spontaneous transformation. Basically this means that it's the instant change of one radioisotope into one or more different isotopes. So a radioisotope is basically just a radioactive element, atom, material, and what the, this is going to do is it's going to change into another element, atom, material. So if you look at the periodic table, it's going to go from one element to another element. Now this is also going to be accompanied by a decrease in radioactivity. So after this process is complete, the final product is going to be less radioactive than the original product. Now a little more vocabulary for us is that the original material is called the parent material. And now what is produced is going to go by what we'll say is the daughter products. All right, guys, so there are three types of decay that we are going to look at. The first is alpha decay. Alpha decay produces an alpha particle, which is a helium nucleus. It's denoted by this symbol here, and being a helium nucleus, it has a mass number of four. Remember, the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. It has an atomic number of two, meaning that it has two protons. The second type of decay that we're going to look at is beta decay. It produces a beta, beta particle, which is an electron. It's denoted by this symbol here, and as stated, it's an electron. Now the electron does not have a mass number, but it does have an atomic number. Now the atomic number is negative one. The reason for it being negative is because it's an electron, and electrons have negative charge. The final decay that we're going to look at is gamma decay. Gamma decay produces a gamma particle, which is a high energy photon. A high energy photon is basically just an electromagnetic wave. Now the gamma particle is denoted by this symbol here. It comes from the nucleus. It has no charge and no measurable mass, but it does have energy. So we've learned the basics of the three types of radioactive decay. Now tomorrow, we're going to really dive into the equations which portray each radioactive decay occurring. So I presented you with a chart that displays these equations. Now we're not going to go through with it in this video, but I encourage you to look at the equations, study them, and come in with a slight understanding of what's going on so we can really hit it hard tomorrow.